So Attack on Titan is going to be getting its final anime season in 2020. That's very soon. And as much as I am excited for it and wholeheartedly wish the best for it, I do have some pretty big concerns. Season 3 was phenomenal and part 2 really showcased what Wit Studio could do. If people for some reason lost faith in the Attack on Titan anime being absolutely phenomenal, Season 3 brought it all back completely. Everything that people were missing from the show Show. Their concerns, their issues were nothing because Wit Studio showed that Attack on Titan is theirs and theirs alone, which was kind of a massive thing for a little bit. Over the past couple of days, up to a week or so, a lot of people thought that Wit Studio would be leaving their baby, their child, something that they've raised from the ground up, basically getting rid of it and handing it over to another studio to actually finish its completion. This came in a form mostly because a lot of people thought that Wit Studio didn't want to overwork the animators. They didn't want to bog them down with a lot of different series that they're currently working on as well as such a high quality series like Attack on Titan, especially in the final length of the story. It'd make a lot of sense on why they'd want to shift it off to a, another good home to finish out its story, and it's very admirable, it's very respectable. But supposedly that wasn't the case. If anything, it actually garnered a lot more of attention, so it was kind of like a little bit of marketing on their behalf. I doubt that's kind of what they intended, but for the most part it worked really well. Everyone was so concerned about what was going to happen for the future of the Attack on Titan anime and here we are with Wit Studio coming out and saying yeah we're doing the final season which is great. Now I'm not sure if those previous concerns are completely gone however. I doubt after the announcement they're going to drop the anime considering they also gave a release date but they may also be working on it with another studio which let's be honest wouldn't be the worst thing. More people working on the show potentially higher quality more stuff getting done. Minds and artistic tastes may or may not conflict with one another, but I think with how Attack on Titan has been worked on for so many years by Wit Studio, we don't realistically have anything to worry about in terms of quality. However, in terms of time, that's a little bit of a different story. As a manga reader at the moment, we're currently in the final stretch of the story. We don't know how long the manga has left. It could have three chapters, it could have eight chapters, it could have 15 chapters. All we know is that supposedly it has less than two years remaining. Now, we look at the 2020 release date for the Attack on Titan final season and the fact that we have a mysterious number of chapters left for the manga, something doesn't really add up there. So what realistically is going on? I mean, there's a couple of different things here that reinstill my faith that they're going to adapt this to a certain extent pretty well. For the most part, Hajime Isayama himself could be helping the anime studio with the final season, which is always a great thing to have. I think he also uh, directed or helped with a lot of uh, creative minds for the other seasons. So the fact that he would potentially help shape up the ending before it's even released in the manga would make a lot of sense and we wouldn't have to worry about that in any regard or some time constraint issues considering the final chapter could potentially drop very close to episode 1 launching next year. And if they didn't know about the final chapter then you can see how they wouldn't have much time to animate that into the season when it's just airing. So Isayama potentially working on the anime would be a pretty good thing. I think on top of that the mixed marketing is also a really good thing. The fact that they can market not only off the final chapters of the Attack on Titan manga, but also the final season and the first episode, you can counter market. The anime and the manga can swirl around each other and just build a massive audience. Not only are you getting the finale of the manga, but you're also getting the final season that's adapting it not long after it. Brilliant. It's incredible. The fan base will love it. Anime onlys aren't necessarily all too far behind manga readers at that point. And you get something on a constant basis week by week for most likely 24 episodes. It'd probably be split into two so you get 12 episodes, a small break, and then another 12 episodes to handle production costs and quality of life improvements and everything along those animating lines. But that would make a lot of sense. Even though all those concerns can be addressed, the biggest glaring issue that I think every manga reader has right now and then wants to see Attack on Titan thrive and conclude on a really high note is can they really pull off all of this
this change within 24 episodes. Now, there's nothing saying that it has to be 24 episodes, but there's no way it can be 12, that's for sure. I think a comfortable amount going out of the quote-unquote norms of anime would be like 30, but realistically, how many animes do you see with 30 episodes? And 30 episodes is being generous. Not only is it only a year later, they've just finished season three, part two. Now they're working straight away on the final season, which has to adapt a lot of dialogue, mind you. I think every single manga reader at the moment knows that there is a lot of stuff that has to have a lot of attention paid towards it. And I'm talking almost full episodes. The more I think about it, the more I try and figure out how much content is actually in the finale of this story without even being at the end, there is a ridiculous amount. There is so much dialogue, so much different character development, so much interaction between different characters, so many monumental moments that goes down. It's very hard for stuff to be glossed over. The story changes completely. Everything is revolutionized. Everything is morphed and shifted in a completely different realm. The Attack on Titan you've watched up to this point has shifted into something else entirely. You haven't even seen it. Every manga reader right now is kind of on the edge of their seats. Like, can they really pull off all of this information, all of this exposition that we actually get within the ending of the story in 24 episodes? I would like to believe that they could, and I have full faith that they may be able to do it, but the more I think about it, the more I feel like it's almost impossible. Am I overestimating how much dialogue there is? Potentially. But I really don't want to see Studio Wit or whatever other studio that could be helping them drop the ball in this situation. I don't know if this is them being pushed to release it in 2020. I don't know if this is going to be 24 episodes and maybe 12 episodes after. Three cores with 12 episodes maybe? I don't know. There is issues there. And depending on the finale of the story, like the actual final chapters, because we don't know how long there is, that's just going to add more to it. And the last thing we want is another Tokyo Ghoul fiasco, where half of the actual important dialogue and important character development and showcase is completely missed out. It's not even prevalent in the anime whatsoever. Imagine all the character development physique we get within the manga, and we get some Mitsuki situation from Tokyo Ghoul Re. We don't even see a fraction of Mitsuki's backstory and how important she is and her character development. Imagine if that happened to Zeke. And trust me, for the anime only watchers, there is a lot, a lot of important dialogue for Zeke. His backstory, his history, his character development, and not only just him, with Eren, with Armin, with Reina, with Mali specifically, with Eldia, Paradise, the Paths, Ymir, there is so much stuff that has to be explained, explored, revitalized, revisited. So much imagery in there, so many different situations and scenarios just colluding together. It's ridiculous to think that this can be done in 24 episodes. It just doesn't sit well with me, but I want to have faith. I really do. I really want to have faith in Studio Wit because I know for a fact that the manga itself has already kind of created a legacy. People will talk about Attack on Titan for years to come. It's going to be one of those classic mangas that every everyone talks about. Like, oh, do you remember the days when Attack on Titan was releasing every single month? The anime has the potential to be that. If it hasn't kind of already hit that realm already, extremely high quality in every single department. And for them to drop the ball on the most important season, the biggest change within the Attack on Titan story would be a complete letdown. But if they do everything right, if they smash it out and produce some extremely well animated content and pay a lot of respect, a lot of time, a lot of attention to the story, to the characters, to the world, you will have a phenomenal final season, potentially squished into 24 episodes. But if it works and it works well, then for the most part, people will be happy with it. And it will completely cement with ease, not only the Attack on Titan manga, but the Attack on Titan anime in to this legacy quote-unquote classic format. Attack on Titan will go down in history as an anime that will be talked about for years right alongside the manga. I feel like for some reason it's very rare nowadays that you get such a pretty hefty and dark story like Attack on Titan to get such a respectable and well-received anime equal to it. Both the manga and the anime is purely beautiful and amazing. And as much as I have my concerns, as much as I'm sitting on the edge of my seat on how they're going to take all of this dialogue and importance within in this change
changing story, I still have that pretty big portion of faith that they're going to be able to pull it off. And I am extremely excited to see how they do it. You know, for a fact that their marketing within 2020 is most likely going to be insane. Not only will we most likely get the finale for the manga, but we'll also get the first episode of the final season and the way they're marketing together potentially could be incredible. And the hype for it will be immensely high, which means they get to bring everything for this final season. They have to pull out all the stops and really end off Attack on Titan on a beautiful note. So Godspeed to them. So with that being said, that is basically it. If you have any concerns regarding the anime being released so soon, let me know what they are. I think a lot of people really want to see Attack on Titan thrive and end off on a really good note. And Wit Studio has been doing an incredible job for so many years now. So let's all hope and pray that the final season and the conclusion of Attack on Titan and is going to live up to that expectation, to that legacy that they're building. But I'm actually going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.